I first of all want to applaud Mayor Bloomberg for being probably the most aggressive mayor in the country around the issue of obesity. And obesity is an epidemic that has enormously significant health uh, consequences. And overall, I think he's doing a really good job on that issue. That said, the soda ban isn't one of his proposals in this area that I support. Because my fear is that with issues around food and obesity, if you say no, people have almost a reflex reaction to do it, to go get it. But is that ever a reason not to make something uh, illegal or unlawful? I mean, take for example the ban on smoking in, in a number of public places. The, the, the reality is it's actually stopped most people smoking in public places, which is good for their health, and more importantly, better for the health of those around them who don't want to smoke. Absolutely. And when I was, before I was Speaker, I was actually Health Committee Chair. And I was the lead sponsor on the bill and led the effort in the council to get the bill passed, the mayor's smoking ban passed. And there was clear evidence in the city at our earlier bans, which we expanded, that it did have the effect we wanted. But you can't tell me, Christine Quinn, that these ridiculously large, guzzling great tubs of coke <laughs> are good for your health. They're not. They're and not if you drink you. loads of these every day, it's going to rot teeth, you're going to get obese, you're then going to become a drain on society, you're going to have health issues you wouldn't have but if you didn't guzzle here, this stuff. Little, little, little well, I agree, with them. I agree with Mayor Bloomberg. What's the point of being a mayor of a city like New York? He's been big on gun control, Absolutely. big on smoking, because he wants New Yorkers to be fitter and healthier. And what is wrong with that? He, nothing. He's right about it. And I've supported Do you think he's wrong about this? I do, because my fear is, my belief is, that with food-related issues, which are different, which are more complicated, because unlike smoking, which you can stop and continue existing, you have to interact with food at least three times a day. So sometimes the easy yes-no that we're all drawn to, particularly as Catholics, doesn't always work out in the end of the day with food-related issues. And sometimes I think the better answer on food issues is to expand access to quality food. To not just say no, but to make sure people have a choice to get something. So for well, example... I, think, see, I, where I disagree with you. I think people need the nanny state occasionally, particularly on issues issues like smoking, drinking, guzzling sodas that are too big for them, you know, eating 16 Big Macs a day, whatever it may be. The reality is we all need a bit of nannying about that. That's why so many people are on diets. That's a form of nanny state. You know, look, I, in a way, I hope I'm wrong. I hope the mayor's right and this is effective, but I really am concerned that the kind of negative no, no, no of this as a obesity issue, which I think can be different than some of the other bans like smoking. I'm afraid it's not going to be effective, but at some point when it goes into